Do you want to be able to create surveys that you can use interactively in PowerPoint with the audience voting on their mobile phones? Word clouds that the audience can add their answers and the word cloud updates in real time? And quizzes that test the audience knowledge, show the updates coming in in real time, you can show the answers to get the excitement going, and you can even download all of that data to use later. I'm the Productivity Coach, and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Riddell, the Productivity Coach, and I work at Microsoft as part of our Modern Work and AI team. And today I want to show you a free tool that's been added inside of PowerPoint. So no Copilot, no AI, none of this great stuff that really will update and change the way that you can present interactively with your audience. But before I jump in, I just want to ask you to subscribe to my channel. My stats show that about 95% of people who watch this video don't subscribe so they don't see future updates. So just while I'm talking to you now, just hit that subscribe button to subscribe and get updates on future videos. So as I say, today I want to show you how you can add interactive quizzes into PowerPoint that your audience can kind of point out with their mobile phones, get a QR code um, and be able to vote in real time, really kind of liven up your presentation. Um, now, previously, you would have had to do this with third party tools. So some organizations might have concerns about data and where it goes, or you might have had to pay for that third party tool, um, which might have made it unusable for your organization. Um, and it's really, really easy. It takes just it takes seconds to set up. Um, so let's jump in. I'm going to show you what we're going to uh, what the end result is first and then show you how we can make it. So here I am. Um, I'm in PowerPoint. And I've got one set up here. So I'm going to present this and you can see here there is a QR code here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my mobile phone so I can go along with this as well. And I'm going to scan that QR code. Now you can see I've already got some answers in here. Um, but what I can do is the audience would get this. They can choose here. So this is a survey, no right or wrong answers. And they go, as I hit submit, it updates in real time. And you can uh, see how that goes there. So it isn't just kind of surveys. As I say, we've got word cloud. So again, if I scan the QR code, it's just kind of hidden behind my mobile phone display you've got here. But if I scan that word cloud in, now I've already got a few in here. So if I typed in awesome, for instance, then because this is a word cloud, once it goes in, it will get bigger because obviously the uh, the more answers you get that are similar, the word cloud changes that way. Um, and, and as people add in other answers, the word cloud would continue to change um, and kind of modify going through that. And then last one, this one here is a quiz. So I'm going to just scan the QR code here. This one is about how, what's the correct way to write Copilot? Um, so I've got all of my answers here. I can see ones that people have put in previously. Um, so I'm going to pick Copilot here, submit that. And again, it updates in real time, which is really, really great. But then when you're in the presentation, you can switch between that tree map view or the bar chart view uh, to what, see what works for you. And then you can show the correct answer and everyone goes, oh, that's how you do it. And hopefully people will write Copilot the correct way there. But because it's a quiz, if I then go into Microsoft Forms, I can go to my responses and see all of that, download that later. I can click that button to open uh, the results in Excel and I'll get the raw data there. If people have had to log in, I'd get that, that data there. And I'd be able to kind of do analysis on that data later. So really, really, uh, really powerful and uh, easy to do. So I'm going to, let's let's have a look at setting up a new one here. So I've created a new PowerPoint here. And then all you need to do, actually, let's get rid of that first. Um, so then all I need to do is go on to insert and then forms here. So uh, this is stuff that you've already got, Microsoft Forms. So you might already have some kind of survey questions or things like that that are already set up. So here's the one that I used in that demo there about what excites you about interactive forms in PowerPoint. And then I can choose to either present it for interactive meetings, which is what I've said, or collect the responses offline. So I'm gonna do uh, interactive and it will create that slide for me. There you go. And because I've already got answers in here, you can see that the number of responses um, has already been submitted. So um, if I wanted to change that, I could go on to click edit uh, and it will load up my uh, my survey here in forms. And I can either like do duplicate and then get a fresh copy if I want to retain the data. Or if I'm not bothered about that, I could go to responses, delete all of those responses before I next do my presentation. 
um, and then you can actually just see there in the background it automatically changed so because I cleared the responses it's gone back to zero here um, and then if I go and present that then I can scan the QR code and I'll be able to uh, vote that way and, uh, and I've got a fresh one there so you can reuse ones you've already got or if you want to create something from new from scratch um, I've got my new slide here Okay, and I've got my uh, that sidebar up the side here, and I can either do um, a form for a survey or a quiz if I've got things with right and wrong answers here. Um, so I'm going to do new form again. Okay, and then I've got my form title here. So um, let's say that we wanted to know why people were coming to this session. So what brings you here? today so this is so this one here is just the title of it so actually it doesn't really matter what you write here so if I said motivation for attending um, that's easy for me to be able to tell but it's actually the question which gets displayed so if I do a multiple choice one here and say what brings you here today then I can put in my options so um, I want to learn more um, or what other things my boss sent me um, other things, networking, we will have a bit of networking, or uh, I've just come here for the free lunch. So I've set that up there um, and I can go through, I can change all my settings. So things like who can answer, whether it's only people within your organization or anyone and whether it's anonymous and all of those kind of things, you can do all of that just the same um, as normal. Um, and then, uh, and then if I just close that and go back to my PowerPoint, you can see there, so it knows that the quiz is there and I just need to make that choice about whether it's interactive um, or people can complete it offline if they've got that PowerPoint there. So, and now I've got my um, survey question there. And then I've, that was a survey. So the other way that I could do this is to do a quiz. So again, I've got a new slide here. Let me just get rid of everything that's on there and I'm gonna do a new quiz. And obviously the difference with the quiz is you've got right or wrong answers here. Um, so let's say that we're gonna do our quiz. Um, and a quiz doesn't have to have, or a survey doesn't have to have just one answer, but this is gonna be a PowerPoint quiz. Um, and let's add a couple of questions here. So my first one here, um, so I'm gonna pick that multiple choice question is, can you present interactive quizzes in PowerPoint using forms? So, and again, the AI in forms will help you actually to create those answers. So I'm gonna have yes or no, and yes is that correct answer. So I've uh, clicked there. And then again, I'm gonna do a second one there and say, how much does it cost to do this? Okay, and my answers are it's free for licensed, licensed PowerPoint users. So if you've got a PowerPoint license, then it costs you nothing. Um, there's an extra charge of five pounds, um, which, which there isn't. It is, it is free for licensed users. And then the last one, you need to get the premium PPT quiz license for 10 pounds per month. So just to be clear, the correct answer is that it's free for licensed PowerPoint users. And again, I can change this on who can respond and whether it's anonymous and, and all of those things. And that impacts how the results all end up at the end there. So again, pop back. So I'm gonna do present this for interactive meetings. Uh, just give that a second to load up. There you go. And I've got I've got my first question here, but you can see down the bottom I can page between that. So I've got one of two. If I click two of two, it shows me the next question um, there. So it's easy to be able to kind of go back and forth between those questions. So if we just do a little demo, just check that that works. So I've got here what excites you. So I've got the QR code or I could send people links. I can just copy that link. Um, so here I can vote that I can reuse my existing forms. Okay, and as I continue to, other people continue to vote, they don't have to use third party tools um, or that it's completely free to do and things like this. And they can either go with like my tree map view again or that bar view so I get all of the options regardless of whether it's zero. 
Um, again, I've got my quiz there on, on what brings you here today, but let's have a look at the, um, the, the quiz there. So can you present interactive quizzes in PowerPoint using forms? So the difference here is when they scan that, they get the whole quiz all at once, which is a bit like how that is now today in forms. Um, so they don't have to go through and do one question at a time. So here I've submitted my answer. So can I present interactive quizzes? Yes. And again, I can switch between that tree map and the bar view there. And again, I can show the correct answers um, and have the audience go, ooh. Um, but then I can kind of page between those questions. So how much does it cost? It's free. Show the correct, oh, I didn't, I didn't select that in forms that it was a, a correct answer. Um, and again, you've got the bar view or the tree map view. I actually prefer the bar, bar view because you can see all of the options even if people haven't voted it. So there you go. Really, really easy, really, really quick, completely free as long as you've got a PowerPoint license. So why wouldn't you have a go at using it? Um, I'd love to see, uh, get some responses coming in the comments telling me how you've used it. Um, and it would be really, really awesome if people do hit that subscribe button. So hit subscribe, um, share this video, put it on LinkedIn, things like this, and share it with your colleagues. Um, because this is a really, really popular feature that people have been desperate to do in PowerPoint. So hopefully you found this useful um, and I will see you again on another video.